Hey everybody, Steve Petrella from Action Network here. Today I'm going to walk you through how to sign up for, deposit at, and use uh, the BetMGM Sportsbook. Uh, we'll cover the promotion available uh, at the time of this recording, but they change frequently. So for the latest promo offer, uh, promo code, please check the description of this video. All right, so once you have the app downloaded, uh, you're going to be brought to this home screen, which is, you know, looks like a lot of other sports books. Uh, and to sign up for a new account, you're just going to hit register in the top right. Uh, I'm just going to enter some kind of made up information and not complete the registration because I've uh, signed up for BetMGM uh, long ago. I will enter an email, hit continue, and they kind of bring you along one step at a time. Um, I think one important thing to note about all sportsbook signups, including BetMGM, is you need the information you enter to match what's on your photo ID. Because really all the government is doing here is, um, I'm sorry, all the sportsbook is doing here is matching the information that you input to what the government knows about you so that they can verify uh, your identity. Um, again, just all kind of made up information. Really, most of this is so you're not betting underage, but it's also so you can't create multiple accounts um, and and things like that. Um, again, you want it to match your photo ID. Okay, this is gonna be all made up information. Uh, you can enter a bonus code at checkout right now. Top action is uh, gonna get you $150 in bonus bets. Uh, but again, the offer is gonna change uh, you know, on a monthly or sometimes even more frequent basis. And so you'll want to um, you want to check the link in the description to get the most recent offer. All right, so once you are signed up, registered, and verified, uh, you're going to need to add some money to your account. So do that like you do it most other sports books. You hit deposit in the top right. Um, there's any number of different payment methods. Uh, you know, you can do PayPal, bank account, debit card, credit card, uh, even Venmo, which is one I've used in the past. If you're someone who you know sort of likes to keep your betting transactions out of your out of your bank account and just play around with with some other money uh, and you have a Venmo balance uh, Venmo, Venmo can be uh, can be an option um, I find that debit card uh, is typically the most reliable credit card slightly less uh, bank account usually works but you sometimes have problems with those third-party providers that sort of link the sports book and, and your bank account so um, in this case I'll do Venmo uh, just to kind of give you an example uh, I'm just gonna add 25 bucks to my account, hit deposit. And because my Venmo is already linked, which is a very simple process to link it, uh, it should hit my account pretty much immediately. There you go. I now have 75 in my account and can start betting. All right, now that I've got some money in my account, uh, it's time to start placing some bets. So I'm just gonna walk you through the app, some of the key things to know. Um, so on this home screen, I actually kind of like MGM's home screen. It's, it's not too busy. They're not pushing a ton of like pre-made bets and uh, sort of, you know, bets they kind of make seem like they're promotions, but aren't really. They're just, you know, bets that the sports book <laughs> designed for you. Um, so I like that you can kind of jump right into um, NBA lines uh, if, if that's something you're, you're interested in. Um, you're gonna see your active promotions on the homepage as well, which you can expand. Uh, these are just little profit boosts. And um, if you have any bonus bets, they'll be in the, in the active promotions here as well. You can learn more about the promotion um, or you can just jump right into the bet slip and start betting. Um, the app's a little, uh, I don't know, low tech isn't maybe the right word, but it's not quite as smooth as FanDuel and DraftKings. It doesn't, um, you know, have that same like super modern user experience that, that you would expect from, from those two uh, sports books, but definitely gets the job done. Uh, to find a particular sport, you can use this navigation along the top. If it's a more niche sport or a sport that's out of season, you can hit all sports and navigate that way. Um, for, you know, a sport like the NBA, typically the, um, the navigation's gonna be pretty good, right? So, you know, I can go to players and then it has props here. I can filter by team, uh, I can filter by stat, all that sort of stuff. Uh, and again, pretty pretty simple to use. Uh, where it gets a little trickier is, you know, a sport like golf or like NASCAR or any kind of auto racing where 
the betting type is just a little different. Um, so what I mean by that is you go to golf, uh, you're looking at the tournament winner, you can find, you know, basically the, these two bets, who will lead after the second round and the tournament winner. But then if you go into here, you only see one. If you go into events, they now have, and they're all, uh, uh, they're not even off the board. They're for some reason displaying is off the board. Um, but for events, you have, uh, you know, these different like matchup bets that don't display really anywhere else. You sort of have to go to a specific menu and then, uh, you know, to actually see the price you have to click in. And uh, it's just a little more cumbersome than I, than I think I would like. So definitely some navigational stuff for, for them to clean up. Um, for placing bets, uh, for straight bets and, and some parlays, very simple. If I wanted to take the magic minus one and a half tonight, all I do is click, It'll bring me to the bet slip, I add a dollar, and I hit place bet, close out of it. If I want to place a parlay, that's magic and the... Cavs. I have two bets. It's going to sort of auto create a parlay. It's going to jump right to that, uh, right to that view. And I can add my stake. Again, I'll add a dollar <clears throat> and just place bet. Um, you can also set alerts uh, for uh, for these games to, you know, get scores, results. You can also do that in the, in the Action Network app and combine all your, your action from um, all your sports books in the Action app. But cool little feature there from, from MGM as well. Uh, you can also right from here go to your open bet slip so um, any wagers that you've placed you can you can track uh, you can track right in here i think one thing i'd like to see mgm improve on is its uh, same game parlay both you know what's available and the functionality um, and so there's just not a whole lot uh, for some sports and and that's not that different from any sports book that isn't DraftKings and FanDuel. like it's incredibly complex to build this technology and to manage these odds. Um, but again, to uh, to make the same game parlay, you're gonna open up a menu and just start adding legs. Uh, but again, the navigation here, you can kind of see these players are just all stacked on top of each other. There's a lot of entries, just not the best, uh, not the best user experience. Um, I can scroll to couple different plays. I keep adding them. I can see the price change at the bottom. Chero. You also can't see the what the price will become or what the price is on these individual bets. So, um, you know, the total in the game is 205. So that would kind of be the standard minus 110 on both sides. But I, I, I don't I don't really know that until I, I look for it in a separate place. And so I'm looking here. I have no idea what the total for the game is until I look. And, um, you know, if I just you know, wanted to take the under, uh, I, I wouldn't really know what number to start looking at because all these are going to be sort of alternate unders. Um, I will add an under. Gets me to plus 340. And then I open up the bet slip, and you can see my same game parlay is, is right in there. Um, if I want to edit it, I can click edit and then add and, and remove legs uh, as well. But to place a bet, same function, add a dollar, place bet, and there we go. It's gonna be in my bet slip. Um, the bet slip is not really along the, um, the very bottom menu. It has this sort of separate view uh, called My Bets, which is going to uh, we're just going to show you what you have active and, and your your previous bets. Um, last thing, BetMGM does offer some uh, decent promotions for existing users, so things like profit boosts and um, some bonus bets around uh, particular uh, events and games, like they used to do a um, Monday Night Football first touchdown uh, promo in which you'd get refunded uh, if your player didn't score, which is a... a 25 bucks max, I think it's pretty, pretty strong promo. Um, so you can find those in here. If you're in a legal casino state, you can also find uh, casino and poker uh, offers like like I see here in, in New Jersey. Um, the last thing I'll, I'll say about MGM, I think 
one thing that uh, stands out for them is they don't rely on outside odds making quite as much as uh, you know a Bet Rivers or a, um, a Unibet, which all sort of use the same platform. And so, if you're looking to bet, you know, a particular line at, at MGM, you might find, or if you're looking to bet a particular line, you might find the best price at MGM. Uh, and it's always, you know, worth keeping in your arsenal because if DraftKings and FanDuel have moved to minus 150 on a prop, you want to bet uh, MGM still might be uh, maybe might be hanging around at minus 115 or minus 120, uh, and that big of a price difference certainly worth keeping some money uh, in the account. Be sure to check out all of our other sportsbook tutorials and how to best take advantage of the promotions they're offering uh, in the videos and articles in the description of this video.